Virgo, welcome back to the channel. Monica Louvre here at The Love Messages. So today we're going to be doing a reading for the first two weeks of June. Now this is going to be a general reading, so it may resonate with you, it may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. Virgo, in this reading, I'm going to be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice. Okay, your challenge is the lovers and what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, you have the 10 of cups upright. Okay, so your biggest challenge here is the lovers. Um, some of you are meeting someone new or maybe you're in a new relationship with someone or, you know, maybe you want to find love, but it's been difficult for you. We're going to clarify this and get more information for you in a moment. Now, in the recent past, you have the page of cups, you have the five of swords and you have the eight of cups. So I feel like for you in the recent past, you disconnected from someone here. Okay, could have been somebody here that you started something new with. I do feel like there was comp uh, competition for your energy, for your time, for your, for your efforts, or you're dealing with somebody who you felt, you know, being with this person was very, um, it was hard to be with this person because either they had other options or you felt like you needed to compete for this person's attention. We're going to get more information on that for you in a moment. Now, in the present moment, you have the hermit, you have the empress, and you have the seven of wands. So I feel like for you in the present moment, there's definitely um, this energy of creating and nurturing and loving energy. Somebody here wants your attention, okay? Or um, I feel like somebody's too busy for you, okay? That, that's the possibility here, but we're gonna clarify and see. In the near future, you have the chariot, the queen of wands, and you have the star. So I feel like you're gonna move forward. Um, some of you are choosing to move forward with the fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. I'm also getting an Aquarius here or a Cancer. And what you don't see coming is the 10 of cups. It looks like there is some sort of happiness and abundance um, fulfillment, especially in a relationship that's coming in. There's a lot of luck that's coming in for you. Um, so we're gonna see how this all ties into your reading as we go. Okay, so let's do some clarification. Let's clarify, oops, let's clarify your challenge. So the levers is clarified by the nine of swords. You have the knight of wands and the knight of pentacles. Your biggest challenge here has a lot to do with the fact that some of you are dating someone right now or you're dealing with someone or you really like someone and there's been a separation or there's been this energy of you and this person turning your backs on one another. It's created a lot of anxiety and stress for you, okay? Because there's something here that's not consistent or there's something here that has separated you and this person. As you can see, these two energies are parting. They're going in different ways and this is what's caused you a lot of stress because for many of you, you love this person, this person that you've been feeling um, very disconnected from. You really love them. And it's been very difficult or hard for you, uh, Virgo, just to move on from the situation. So your biggest challenge here is not to be so concerned with the fact that this other person's disconnecting from you. I mean, if something is meant to be, it will just be. If it's not meant to be, that could be the reason why there's a disconnect. And there's no need to worry over this situation because what is meant for you will just naturally come into your life the way it needs to, okay? And that's gonna be a, a big part of your challenge. Let's clarify the Eight of Cups in the recent past. You have the Ace of Cups, you have the Justice, and you have the World. Yeah, so in the recent past, you walked away from a new love, okay? And again, like I said, there was a lot of competition. Um, some of you were dating someone who still was dealing with maybe someone from the past or they had other options. But as a result of that, you disconnected from this and it came to an end. Now, in the present moment, there's an important message for you. We're gonna find out what that message is. But first, I'm gonna clarify the Seven of Wands. Why is it here? What does Virgo need to know? You have the tower, you have the empress, and you have the four of wands. Yeah. So somebody here in the present moment doesn't like the fact that there's a breakup or a disconnect that's happening. I feel like for many of you, there is a tower moment that's happening in a relationship. Some of you are having problems in your marriage or your commitment at this time. And there's this energy of still trying to nurture and, and make the situation better, even though it's become very bad, especially with the tower here. Tell me more about the empress in the present moment.
you have the two of swords, the two of wands, and the wheel of fortune. What you may not realize in the present moment, Virgo, and it's a very important message is, if there's a separation, if there's a breakup, if something's not working, it means that it's not meant for you, period. Bottom line, you have the two of swords here. So something's extremely, either someone or a situation in your life is extremely blocked or closed off. Um, and even though you're trying to work it out or nurture the situation because you believe that by nurturing the situation, it's going to get better. Um, there's eventually a decision or a choice that you have to make because something here is blocked or it's not working the way you want it to. You want this situation, but it's not working the way you want to. And it's because spirit in the background, especially with the Wheel of Fortune, is creating some sort of energy for something better to come into your life. And this is why a lot of you are in the hermit mode right now. A lot of you are spending a lot of time on your own. There's a bit of this sadness, melancholy, disappointment in general in life. And it's because the tower moment that happened that you, by the way, this situation, you've been trying to keep up with it. Okay, and, and, and every time you try to keep up with it, you find yourself more and more disappointed. And the reason why this is happening is because it's not for you. This situation that you're so attached to, that you want it to work, that you believe it's yours and it's the way it needs to be, is not for you. And this is why all this is happening for you right now. And a lot of you need answers. Okay, there's a strong energy in the present moment of I need answers. I need to know what's going on. Why is this happening? Why are we separating? Why are we parting? Why isn't things working out? It's because there's something better coming in for you. Okay, six of pentacles, the knight of swords, and the queen of wands. Yeah, you keep chasing something. You keep giving to a situation. You keep chasing it. It could be a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. I'm getting an, um, an Aquarius or a Gemini. You keep chasing something here. And you may be saying to yourself, well, I did all the right things. Why didn't it work out? I'm, I'm doing all the right Right things am I not okay so something here you're chasing you're running after one of the things that you're learning right now is even though you want something it doesn't necessarily mean that that's what's going to happen the reason why you're going through this right now is because spirit is trying to show you that you're not in control a lot of you think you're in control but you're not especially now okay because something else is happening in the background and you don't even know and it's connected to your abundance Okay, so that's why something here is not working out the way you want it to and you feel powerless in the present moment. Okay, now in the near future, you're moving on from this situation. I do see a very um, heavy period of healing, resting. Tell me more about this Queen of Wands. Who is this Queen of Wands in the near future? Who is this Queen of Wands in the near future for, for Virgo? So you have the King of Pentacles, the Four of Cups, and the Queen of Pentacles. Even though you meet somebody or you connect with somebody and you try to offer love to somebody and you feel rejected or you feel like you're not wanted by this person, it's because there's someone else that's coming in that's a soulmate. There's somebody else that's coming in that's meant for you that you're supposed to move forward with. So I think the person that you're with now or the person that you're thinking about may not be the person for you. Okay, they may not be the person for you because it looks like you're so focused on why somebody rejected you, why somebody here didn't take you up on your offer. Meanwhile, your soulmate is right in front of you. Your soulmate's coming in. So you have options in the near future. One of these options is better than maybe the one that you've been focusing on. And that's the person that you're going to move forward with. Tell me more about the chariot in the near future for Virgo. Three of Wands, the Hangman, and the Two of Cups. Yeah. So when you go off and you let go of being connected to somebody here that you think is, is yours, that is really not yours, and you start to really sit back, because I feel, you know, in the near future, and there's something here about cookies. Something here about cookies. I don't know if you're eating cookies, chocolate chip cookies. I don't know. There's something here about cookies. So I feel like for you in the near future, there's a really strong energy, you know, with the Two of Cups that you're going to meet the person that you're meant to be with, but it's not going to happen the way that you want it to. It's going to happen very unconventionally. And it's going to happen when you stop worrying, when you stop chasing, when you stop um, looking for it. Because a lot of you are looking for something or you're chasing it and you're worried about it. And every time, and I've told you this many times, I've said it, I'm like a broken record, bro broken record with you, okay? Um, I feel like I've said it many times to you. And what I've said to you is, is that you're not in control. You're not, okay? You're not in control right now. Um, why? Because spirit is trying to show you how to sit back, relax, and allow things to come to you. This is what you're learning. 
Part of manifestation, and if you were on my uh, moon manifestation that I did actually a couple of days ago, one of the things that I mentioned to all the participants who were there, okay, whether you paid or not, um, is that when you manifest something, you need to just manifest it, believe that you're going to have it and let it go. When you start manifesting and then checking on it and wondering what's happening and worrying about it and always being in this energy of being like this, it's not, it's not going to happen for you. And this is your biggest problem because you deserve happiness. You want happiness. Happiness is coming into your life, but you need to make room for it. If you're constantly questioning it, checking up on it, um, you know, um, you know, what, what stalking it. <laughs> okay. That's why it doesn't happen for you. So I th think for you in the near future, and I've said this so many times, um, and for some reason, I have to say it again, you have the star here. This is about you resting, healing, and envisioning your future and allowing the future to unfold the way it needs to. A lot of you are learning that in the near future because someone here, there's there's a karmic or there's somebody here in your life that you're really in love with. Fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, you're like enamored with this person. You love them. You want to be with them. But it's, unre it's unrequited is what I'm getting. There's an unrequited energy here. And there's a huge disappointment that this person's never going to call you or never contact you. You constantly feel, feel rejected by this person. It's because this person's teaching you something. They're teaching you how to actually get to your 10 of cups. Do you understand? That's what's happening here because you will be happy. But there's some sort of major change that's happening, especially over the next few months. Even though this reading is for the next two weeks, it's preparing you for what's coming. So somebody here is a catalyst to teach you how to sit back, relax, and allow things to come to you. When you allow things to come to you, you're showing the universe, you're telling the universe, look, I don't have control. You're the one that's, that's controlling this. Okay, you do have control to some extent, but you don't have control 100%. And you know that, okay, based on the circumstances and things that have happened in your life in the past that maybe you didn't want something here to end, but it ended. Why? Is it because you're not in control? Is it because there's someone else in control? So this is what you're learning, okay? So let's get some advice. What is the advice for Virgo? So the advice is the page of pentacles, you have the 10 of pentacles and you have the seven of swords. Yeah. So your biggest piece of advice, okay, is to recognize when something here is not for you. And it's obvious. You know why it's obvious? Because the signs are there. It's a matter of you not ignoring the signs. The seven of swords is a sign. When somebody just, you know, comes in and they take what they want and they're only focused on themselves, maybe that's a sign that it's not for you. This is about you starting something new. This is about you focusing on starting something new, planting the types of seeds and things that you want to create. And understand, understand, and overstand, Virgo, whatever it is that you're starting new, it's a process. It's a journey. It's not something that's going to happen for you right away. It's going to take time. So you need to allow yourself that time. You need to be able to sit back and allow things to come to you. Okay. Once you plant the seed, and I told you this, this is about the manifestation stuff that I did. The page of pentacles is a seed. Okay. It's a start of something new, which leads possibly to the 10 of pentacles. But if we make an investment, we must let it sit there and grow by itself. We cannot keep, we cannot, it's not, it's like, for example, I'm going to give you an example. It's like, I go in my garden. I have a little incy bitsy seed. I go in my garden, I open the soil, I put the seed in, I cover the seed and I pour water on it. In one hour, I go back outside and I look at the seed that I plant and I say, geez, what's going on here? I planted a seed. There should be something growing by now. Hun, it's only been one hour. Give it a week, give it two weeks, give it, I don't know, a month. This is what your advice is. Stop planting seeds and expecting them to grow within one hour. Give something time. Plant it, tell the universe what you want, and then let it go and allow the universe to do its work, okay? So Virgo, this is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.